Uh, one of the things we really think about in NextGen, as I've worked with schools over this last decade being here in Kentucky, is um, what, what's going on deeper, more systemically. So I brought props. This is the copy of this week's Education Week. Here's the headline. Disparities grow for students of color, federal data show. I'm a little bit historically reflective. Um, so what is going on that since Brown versus Board, we haven't made a lot of progress. It's a hard question, and I like those kinds of hard questions. And deep in that hard question, I think, is an examination that we need to do. After a generation of No Child Left Behind, I've spent my entire career under No Child Left My first year teaching was 2001. I remember because the towers fell, I had kids in the room. I was a brand new teacher. I did not know what to say. Uh, but it was also the year that we passed No Child Left Behind, and I've lived under that my entire career. So if these achievement gaps aren't closing, might there be alternative ways that we can attack this problem and, and get more at the opportunity gaps that might be inherent inside of these achievement gaps? So two lessons today about deeper learning and equity, and then I have eight more on my blog, for real. <laughs> I wrote it all up. Uh, I'll point you to it. Here's two. After a decade of doing this work through UK Next Gen, STEAM Academy, you know, I like to get in there, get my hands dirty, launch a school from scratch ourselves. What an opportunity that was. Two things I want to start with. Number one, happiness. This talk we had earlier, kids are not that happy in school. I mean, there's plenty of data to show it, but just go talk to them, right? They'll tell you. You got to ask kids usually about three questions to get to the real answer because they don't, they're not used to adults asking them real questions. Have you guys had this experience? So you got to be persistent, ask a few questions, but they'll tell you they're not that happy in school. So one of the first lessons learned we had about deeper learning and equity is that discipline data will be the first indicator to move. When you start to actually change the learning experience of the child, the child begins to respond to that environment differently. Right now, the children are unhappy, and they act up a lot. Go look at some of the discipline data in Jefferson County Public Schools. It's mind-blowingly bad, like just shockingly bad. One of the first indicators to move is discipline because kids are just not as unhappy in school. We see that right away. Why are they not as unhappy? As we try to transition that learner experience, we are asking the kids to do more things. One of the results of No Child, I think, is we have a laser focus. Our new commissioner just used those words a couple weeks ago, a laser focus on achievement. OK, nothing wrong with that. Um, but we have laser focused on literacy and numeracy. But there's a lot more to a kid's life than those two things. In fact, if you go look at our law in Kentucky, what is the job of schools? The job of schools is way more. You can, it's 158.6451, my favorite statute. You guys can go read it, because <laughs> I know things like that. Um, it asks us to do this broad range of things. As we ask the kids to do that broad range of things and get more involved in projects, what we also see are kids begin to develop a wider skill set. That wider skill set is also a key lesson learned um, in that the skills that these kids are going to need to get through college or get into a career, um, and you see it in your work with doing internships. We see it at STEAM doing internships. They need a lot of skills to survive and thrive in this economy. And we can do a better job. And it's in doing those things. And I have eight more on my blog, recode.school. No, no joke, like I listed eight because I want to be specific about the difference that this makes. Um, I want to end you with a hopeful tone, obviously. As I said, it's been 10 years of cried. <laughs> we in the College of Ed are making a big difference in Kentucky schools right now. Um, for real, I, I, I'm really proud of how involved this college has become. But it's also a call to action for us. This has been one of the reasons I'm so emotional this year. Is it's been the hardest year for me professionally I've ever had to do. I mean. I would never in my wildest dreams think that Kentucky would be contemplating a strike um, and shutting down schools. But yeah, we did that this year. Uh, Arizona's still doing that. So uh, that's the other half of the, my prop here is Arizona teachers. So 
it's been that kind of hard year, but for us in the College of Ed, we can make a huge difference. We are making a huge difference. These really hard questions, uh, if we stay at them, I think the, you know, the arc of the moral universe is long and it bends towards justice. And uh, as uh, Joe was saying, it only bends towards justice because we put the work in to do that. And so I want to invite you to, let's keep working on it. Thanks much.